Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. It's started today's video. We've got some big update information. So as you can see, we've got a community event going on. Yesterday, we received a roadmap with all the future update information. And then the day before, we've got a trophy ladder rework. It's just absolutely insane. The news is coming thick and fast. So if you guys aren't subscribed already to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Also, I just came back from London because I've been busy for a few days. It's been uh, my partner's birthday. But anyways, we have right here. So I just missed the first one. We go back one second second here and straight away we can see a hypercharge has been leaked by Brawl Stars himself would you even call it a leak because at this point they purposely just put out these new hypercharges a couple of them just to give us some update teasers they do this normally with these community events so every single time like a couple of weeks before the update they do this community event leak hypercharges and roughs is one of them so what can we really um you know, talk about with Ruff's hypercharge. I just think it's going to be, it's not going to be something like crazy, right? With Ruff's hypercharge, he's a support brawler. All of that his super does right now is just boost your teammates' HP and attack damage by 20%, I believe it is. I think it might be uh, something different now. But anyways, maybe it charges a bit of their super. Maybe it charges a bit of a hypercharge. I don't know what it could be. You'll have to let me know down in the comment section below. I'll have to get some concepts flowing. But I don't think it's going to be anything game-breaking. But Roofs is one of the worst brothers in the game. So it definitely is welcomed. And then let's quickly go over to the next one. So we're going to, if we blink, we're going to miss it fast. And it's going to be literally here in a second. There we go. Penny's hypercharge. You can literally see the circle is ready. The hypercharge super is available. So that's going to be two hypercharges definitely confirmed. 100% confirmed and with Penny's hypercharge it's going to be interesting because you got to definitely um, take a look at Jesse's hypercharge for example and compare it to Penny's both are well Jesse's hypercharge is 10k HP right you think a Penny's turret could be around a 10k HP mob that's going to be really hard to take down and also if you think in the past when Penny was meta it was because of her turret like years ago the previous meta about a year ago was because she was just so versatile with her main attack but years ago she's always been a frustrating brawler with her Penny turret so it's going to be interesting whether we go down the route of just making that hypercharge super just really really disgustingly OP or they just buff the HP and just make it not too strong like the Jesse hypercharge I, I hope they go down that route or else it could be very toxic especially considering and only really throws can get to that turret yeah that, let's just be careful because that hp uh the turret hp did get buffed not too long ago so you've got to take that into consideration so those are the two hype charges in this video and then there's another one with the roadmap which we're going into but let's quickly go through the community event if you missed it so this video is on all of their socials and their youtube channel so check it out and watch it for yourself with the sound on so basically there's a community event right now where there's this new box called dead boxes so with dead boxes you can find all sorts you can find non-exclusive brawlerween pins sprays icons etc skins as well the non-exclusive ones i think you can get these ones i'm not too sure if you can but you can get coins star powers gadgets hypercharges no power points but you can get bling gems and brawlers as well so pretty interesting so as of right now mastery madness has started so i'll be playing brawl stars pretty much 24 7 to get as many mastery points as possible and then at 5 billion you get double xp at 10 billion you get a free hypercharge double daily star drops at 15 billion but at 20 billion you get 10 dead boxes which can unlock a whole bunch of stuff which can be exciting also you're going to be able to buy these dead boxes for gems in the shop as well so just depending whether they're actually worthwhile i mean as a max out player probably not but but i'll definitely try and buy some of my mini can't see whether they're worthwhile or not they just probably look like mega boxes right which weren't completely the best but at least i don't know it's gonna probably be a bit better because there's no power points in there no one needs power points from these boxes right so also to get to 20 billion takedowns you can get double the takedowns with the three new events that are in uh, the game right now so i think it's present plunder payload and i can't remember the other one it was hold a trophy or something like that so yeah, it's going to be pretty interesting. And then there's going to be a special giveaway going on where if you go on social media and put hashtag that game and just show a clip of you playing, then you get a chance of unlocking pretty much everything within those dead boxes um, inside the dead box. So that's going to be the community event. But let's hop over to the roadmap. Now. Okay, so now take a look at the roadmap. So again, I was away whilst this dropped and it's just so much content to really uncover. And of course, there's a couple of really big ones that I really like. So again, if you want to listen to sound, I'll leave a link to it in the description so essentially there's just going to be so much with this update so you have to watch this video so to begin with 
Frank talks about the fact that there's a bunch of limited events and one of the biggest concerns, you know, I voiced that myself and I, I managed to get on a, a no, time to explain, uh, no Time to Explain podcast, sorry, that's the pun intended behind it, is that there's a lot of limited time events, right? But there wasn't really much concrete update stuff. I don't know, like what, what we're getting now, we're getting like a trophy rework, we're getting potentially a ranked rework as well. We weren't really getting too much of that. And I was a little bit concerned. We're just getting these one month events, which were really cool. But then what happened after that? Like after the Godzilla, all your eggs just went, you didn't get anything. After SpongeBob, you get your power ups and I spent a bunch of money on uh, all of the offers. And then I didn't really get anything after, but we're gonna have to quickly pause it right here because again, if we blink, we miss it. So I'm gonna have to really zoom in here because literally we're kind of, I don't even know, like, I, I maybe have to literally get a still photo of it and just zoom in in the video for you guys to see it. But again, it's around the one minute two, well, yeah, one minute two second mark. I don't even think you can see it on the actual video, but again, I'll get a photo of it. But essentially, it's like a little snippet where you can see, um, you can see Lola's shoe or just a brawler's shoe, which is purple. And then you see like a green tint. So a lot of people are saying this, well, not even a lot of people, a few people have said this might be a Lola hypercharge because of the green, which is her fox, which she shoots out of, which is at the forefront of the image. And then you see a little bit of purple, which are her shoes. So this could be a big stretch. It might be a different brawler, but I just thought I'd throw that out there because it is pretty interesting. So we might be getting three hypercharges that we know already. So yeah, take it with a pinch of salt though, because you can hardly see the brawler whatsoever ever like you we're literally seeing pixels here this is the kind of level we're going to when we're looking at uh, certain things so in terms of october then so it's going to be a limited time event again and it's going to be a ladder rework so the next update which, which should be in about a week's time or so maybe not this weekend or the weekend after i don't even know it's going to be sometime soon maybe even a week's time so pretty interesting it's going to be a mortis versus edgar event pretty soon we had the trophy rework which we dived into in a previous video which it's getting a lot of controversy but i think it's going to be really good for the game because there's just been nothing to grind for in brawl stars at least it's going to be something that you can get cool cosmetics from and it's just gonna be a lot more interesting i really love the prestige icon i really love the all-time leaderboard that is an exceptional feature i think it's gonna be better in the long run there's gonna be a few tweaks and there's always gonna be people hating change that's just how it is in gaming and just in life in general people hate change but trust me me personally after playing brew stars so long i think it's a great addition so now december 2024 we have a huge star park update so everybody that loves lore it's going to be fantastic for them and then in february this is where the interesting stuff starts so you can see right here is that maybe a new masters logo maybe there's something above masters maybe there's something below masters it looks like there's going to be a new rank so essentially frank is saying that he wants basic ranked to tie into the competitive season of 2025 so i don't know maybe if you get masters maybe if you get this new rank maybe if you just get in the top thousand i don't even know something like that and then you can maybe qualify for the monthly qualifiers that could be pretty interesting so you don't have to go through the championship challenge and then in april there's going to be gameplay improvements and a big collaboration in june 2025 there's going to be some type of like achievements perhaps in the future maybe some improvements to masteries something like that they're definitely looking into it i would like to be maybe an extension of masteries i don't know how they could do this maybe you get more titles maybe you get some gems after a certain level there's been a lot of like hearsay about that i'll be pretty interested here and every brawler will have a hypercharge as well so we also have another collab and there's just so much really going on with this right like you guys just have to see it it's gonna be pretty cool there's also gonna be i think that's gonna be like an, an event or something going on in all August we have uh, the ability to maybe like add something different for PowerPoint so as you guys well you probably don't even know if you're a top percentage player like myself then there's just so many PowerPoints and there's always the you know conversation why is there so many PowerPoints there's this huge disbalance maybe PowerPoints can just get converted to coins but they're actually talking about the possibility of maybe adding something similar to hypercharges where you can buy this with PowerPoints which I don't really get myself I think they should just rather just make it into one currency, but we'll have to wait and see. Maybe there's going to be another button into the game. Imagine Hypercharge 2.0. And then in October 2025, there's going to be a Map Maker rework, which Map Maker was one of the peaks of Brawl Stars. If I rewind back to YouTube, Map Maker was so popular. Like we've seen people like OJ, Crime Man, etc. get like millions and millions of views on Map Maker videos. It was so fun and interesting. So it'd be interesting to see what route they take, whether it'll be like a game mode 
centric uh, map maker where you can literally create your own game modes maybe it's just more of an open well i don't know there's just so many possibilities with map maker it's got so much potential i'm not really too like in touch with my artsy side but yeah, there's a lot of potential with it, but let's quickly take a look at something in game. So to round the video off then, for everyone that loves lore, you know, me, myself, I'm not too into the lore too much on this channel, whatever, but I'm still interested in it, still watching a bunch of videos. So as you can see, literally in the game right now, it says do not enter. And this is pretty fun. I love it when Brutal Souls do stuff like this. So you can see every time you tap, it says don't tap. All gems removed, just kidding. So it's like this kind of spooky book, forbidden book that they don't want you to open whatsoever. And if you keep tapping it, it's going to be jump scares, which I think if people just do that, they don't look at social media and they just go on the game and see it for themselves. It's, it's got to scare some people for sure. It's not like crazy scary, but as uh, awesome. If you tap it really fast, Mortis should appear. There we go. A jump scare Mortis, which we'll go into in a second, which is actually a skin I've seen already through a server that, uh, survey that they've done. Again, if you spam it, there's like more pictures, which again, I'll show you in a second because it goes really fast if we keep spamming please give me more mortis yeah there we go like you have to spam so fast and then it kind of scares me that it just jumps out so if we quickly go over to twitter right here i'll leave a link to uh, the person that did this but essentially through a survey they already did this months ago where they teased underworld mortis where they've, they've done a bunch of these surveys to past players asking them what skins i'd like to see this also came true when i think scorpion chuck and a few other skins came to life through the survey so it looks very much like mortis right there so you can see from this photo this is the one that popped up in game and then it literally you can see the small details like the the hair down there I mean, it looks literally like devil underworld mortis whatever you want to call it okay so just quickly then these are the three photos that appear in game you know when you spam the book so quickly and this is it in higher contrast so you can just sit with well, high brightness contrast whatever so you can see what it actually is so you can still see the mortis and it's just like a room with like spooky stuff this reminds me of the bizarre circus we had last year i don't know why it reminds me of that but it just does so that's the first photo when we zoom in again we get another one right here so you can see there's like these weird work like arms and stuff this literally reminds me of bizarre circus i don't know whether it's going to be the new environment which is coming with the update probably a sneak peek to that uh but again it's just a bunch of like spooky stuff in the background nothing really much telling us i mean there's going to be people that will know for sure but again i'm not as in touch as in the lore as some people and then we have this new brawler new character i don't even know what it is some people are saying it might be rico barley it could be barley just because he's got the bow tie he's got the uh, screws on the side of his head it could be barley but again it reminds me of bizarre circus when there's like, all these big creepy you know human characteristics so i think we had like a massive tongue in bizarre so it, it's just really creepy so yeah that's gonna be it for today's video guys hope you enjoyed this a lot to really dive uh, into so i'm excited for this update yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time